Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we have Khloe Kardashian in the news and she's back in the news today regarding her business venture, Good American Jeans or the Good American brand. So Good American was launched on October 18th, 2016. It made over $1 million in the first day of launching. The company was founded by Khloe Kardashian and Emma Greed. Who is Emma Greed? Emma Greed is basically a British businesswoman. She's an entrepreneur. She's the co-founder and CEO of Good American Jeans or the Good American brand. And she's also a founding partner of Skims with Kim Kardashian. Emma Greed is also a co-founder of Safely, which was started by Kris Jenner and Chrissy Teigen. Safely offers a brand of plant-based cleaning and self-care products, and that was launched in March of 2021. So overall, I would say that Emma Greed is respected in the entrepreneurial world. So back to Good American Jeans. The brand was launched to address the lack of sizing options in women's clothing. The sizes that they sell range from double zero on up to a size 24. Their ads feature women of all shapes, sizes, races, and backgrounds. And again, on the day of their launch, they made over $1 million in revenue. So why are they being sued? So there's a model that's alleging that she was not paid on time. The model's name I will not reveal, but she is alleging that she was hired and agreed to be paid $3,500 for one day of work, which she completed the work on November 17, 2021. This is according to court documents obtained by The Blast. She alleges that she was set to receive her paycheck by December the 10th of 2021, but did not receive the paycheck um, for at least another three months. So on March 11, 2022 is when she received the payment. So the model stated that she is now entitled to get a late payment penalty under the California Labor Code 203 due to Good Americans' failure to pay in a timely manner. So under Labor, Labor Code Section 203 states that upon an employer's failure to pay wages in a timely manner, the employee's wages shall continue as a penalty until paid for a period of up to 30 days. So because this model was compensated more than 30 days after the expected payment date, um, she's now saying that she's entitled to $105,000, which is... $3,500 times the 30 days that's allowed under the California Labor Code. So um, this model is requesting $105,000 from the Good American brand. And she's also requesting that the Good American brand cover all of her attorney fees and legal fees and also any court cases um, resulting from this situation. So, unfortunately, that's what they're looking at, a $105,000 lawsuit. Um, and you guys, let me know what you think in the comments. Is this kind of shocking to you? Uh, Emma Greed does seem like she's a good businesswoman, but you cannot judge a book by its cover. And I would also like to add, um, remember how they were accused of taking money from the Norwoods back when... Kim Kardashian was Brandy's assistant or personal stylist or whatever she was doing, where she had access to Brandy's credit cards. And allegedly, they were stealing her money and they were spending it as they pleased. And allegedly, word on the street is, that's how they started their store Dash. That's the word on the street. That's how Dash was started with Brandy stolen funds, pretty much. And, you know, they settled with that because Brandy's mom was not having it. She was like, pay up. And Ray J was all full of Kim and in love and was like, mom, please don't sue them. And Miss Norwood was like, they better pay up. So eventually they paid. But unfortunately, you cannot judge a book by its cover and nothing shocks me nowadays. Nothing's surprising anymore. But if they owe this model, I hope that she does recover all of her funds. 
and the penalties as well. Because right is right and wrong is wrong. And unfortunately, if you had somebody handling that and they dropped the ball on that, it's, it's time to let them go and get better help. So guys, let me know what you think below. Thanks for watching. See you next time.